Aw, oh, man, what the hell? Marco was angry and argued with us. It wasn't easy to calm him down. Marco and Bruno both got wounded. Aw, oh, they took our last bit of food and water. Are you serious? I mean, we got a lot of components and shit, but... Ah, oh, man. I'll get over it. We only have one thing of bandages. I mean, they're only slightly wounded, but... Alright, Marco. You're my main scavenger, so I need you to be the best, like... The most prepared. Pavle, you get some rest. Let's see if we can actually make some bandages. Ah, uh, no, we need pure alcohol to do that. We sure do. Okay, we definitely need food, which means today, tonight is the make it or break it night for us. make a lock pick. Let's see if we can catch the news and start a fire, get this place warm. <sighs> Still talking about coffee. We don't have a crowbar anymore, so... Let's make an armchair, actually. Make ourselves a nice, comfortable armchair. I'm a nice guy. Should also make another crowbar, too, when I think about it. Won't take that many components. You know, so far we've been doing pretty good. The fact that we've made it two weeks into the game is pretty impressive, given the fact this is pretty pretty much my first try. I'm glad you understand that, dude. We don't really have anything to barter, so... Okay, number one thing. Food. We need food. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We could use a bit more components, but... I think we should just move on. He's still healing, so. Ah, uh, uh, damn it. Alright, Marco, we're pu putting you back out there. Oh, we have some new areas, actually. Four new areas. A brothel, warehouse, construction site, and semi-detached house. It is a ruin, but there are people living in the other half. Apparently, they aren't hostile and have a lot of stuff to barter, even foods and meds. Let's remember to take someone to trade if we're willing to pay them a visit. Danger, um, I'm assuming if we decide to try and attack them. It was supposed to be a luxurious residential area, and there was a great hype on apartments there, but the developers fled abroad when the war started. Recently, the military wrested control over this area from the rebels. We could scavenge whatever the rebels left behind, but there's a risk of encountering military patrols. No thank you. Used to be a warehouse with a big store. Store Currently it's used as a hideout by a group of armed thugs. We might be able to find useful things there if we can sneak in, but it's very dangerous. 
If you want to get laid for a can of meat, this is the place. Mothers will do some really kinky stuff to get food for their children. It's a big building well guarded by local thugs. They have plenty of goods and are eager to trade. Oh my god. We're going to the apartment building. Bring a knife and bring a lockpick. We're... It's not smart to take the wounded guy, I know, but... It's the back of the building, so he should be able to sneak in. Okay. It's a pretty big house. Whether we can stay hidden is anybody's guess. Oh, shit. There's the food right there. That's the money right there. Ah, oh, shit. Two, three. There might be four of them here. Oh, this is gonna be like a high profile area. How am I gonna get in? Alright, I'll wait until one more person goes in there and then go leaves. Literally, all I need is the contents of the fridge. That's all I need. I don't even need to kill somebody if I can help it. I'd rather not. Right, it's a waiting game. Let's see if we can wait until somebody comes in and then leaves. This is nerve-wracking. The dude's just trying to take care of his parents, so... I really don't want things to come to a head because I feel like, unlike the elderly couple, this guy is probably armed. And he's a big dude, too. Run. Run! Oh my god! <laughs>